Ah. Hmm. Okay. Ah. <laughs> ah. Ah. Seven damage. All right. And, and this was uh, on leech. That was on leech. Ouch. Oof. All right. Bogdan. Leech, your uh, your fine couch is getting a little red. Ah, ouch. Bob didn't Bob take has four. one edge. I don't want to do that. Yeah, Bogdan takes right. four, though that's more than likely stun for Bok. Actually, was that stun for stun Leech? Stun for both. Yeah, all right. Well, I can only do that one more time. Then I'll only have ten shots before I ha before the guns. Well, the thing is, it has a uh, it's bell fed, so I have four hundred ammo on this one. Uh, I think each I think you are still limited by the belt, so that's one hundred per belt. So you no, have it has to probably... it's a it's a heavy ammo box on the uh, drone itself. Oh, okay. So you got quite a few. You effectively can do this all day long in terms of combat. Yeah. Guess what I'm be doing all day long in terms of combat. Yeah. Well, anyways, you're stuck doing that for the entirety of this combat turn. So next. Yeah. I doing. But, uh, no, hold up. You have your thing going on, so. Yeah, Sorry, no, I was um... looking up something. Uh, okay, oh, good. Damn, that's touch only. Fuck. Alright, so it's up between Leech and Rupert. Um, PCs go first. Rupert, what's up? Alright, I'm gonna um, move over here, take cover. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna put. Bye. I'm gonna put a burst from my AK uh, 97 into um, mm -hmm. on a oh, they, leech. Oh, they both had to, they're both forced into cover from the suppressive fire, if I remember right. So. Yeah, yeah. If they can get yeah. to cover, they're forced into cover, mm. and they are. They can. So, do you have a grenade? No, I'm just gonna yeah, fire automatic what fire on them. So AK um, 97. Smart gun. Mm -hmm. So that's plus two. Uh, penalties being. Just cover, I think. Which I don't think affects my shooting. Yeah, I'll just go with minus two. Yeah. So that takes me down to ten. Okay. Ah, no, 1d10. 1d10 <laughs> greater than five. I'm afraid you failed. Let's try that again. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh. Wait. Um, you have to make. You have to get rid of that space. I know. It's fine. We can just count it. It's Four. three successes. Three successes. Yep. So three. Su who are you firing this against? Leech. Leech? Yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll double down on. If I take the old guy out, maybe the I'd help give up. Oh my God, there are bad jokes in the Skype. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <sighs> I will be right back, folks. Let's see. That's all. There it is. And I uh, did you just single fire that single shot this or uh, burst? Okay, for three round burst. Yep, three round burst. Oh, all right. What's the damage on this again? Uh, eight Two P's. plus eight, eight physical yeah. and armor penetration. AP each one minus one. Aye, all right. All right. <laughs> well. So here's the thing: is like I said, I, I very, very much uh, lowered the combat and ca uh, difficulty for this. Yeah, he's dead already, isn't he? He's not dead, but he's knocked out, which is pretty close to dead. Uh huh. All right. It's okay. You've still got your um, ogre fire heavy machine gun. And back. Chats. Hello. I took Leech out. Yeah. Oh. Leech I, like is... I said, I, 
I very much lowered the combat encounter difficulty on this one. Yeah. It's like tiny baby mode version of how it was originally. I'm guessing right. there were more combatants or leech in Bogdan. Also, were. they weren't just sitting on couches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Up next is Virgil. Virgil. Ablative. Sorry, I was measuring. Mm hmm. That's about 16, right? Mm hmm. I think I'm gonna do a bit of fire water at Bogdan. Ah, oh, gross. Let's call it force. I'm feeling, uh, six. Yeah. I have to remember what my spell casting is. Sorry about that. Mm hmm. You will be. Get to just napalm the shit out of him. Firstly, I don't see why you're not just going to overcast the shit out of this. You know what? That's a very good point. Yeah, just go like Force 10 and just do it. Yeah, Alpha Strike. I'll do you one better Force 12. That's insane. Oh, oh, fucking cool. Christ. Yeah, I have to remember what the drain for this is later too. Ooh, all of it. <laughs> what? What? I think it's minus two. Yeah. What it's spell? Two. Oh Jesus! This, this is drain? fire water. Yep. Oh fuck. Oh. Five successes. All right. So he has to react to that because that is a physical spell. All right. Mhm. Mm He's at minus two right now. So. Be realize I can't cure that sort of damage. Wait, strain damage or fire water damage? Uh, damage from drain. I cannot oh. take. I cannot cure that. Here's the problem: is that's a fire spell, so a glancing hit and, actually does mean it still hits. And it's a water spell too. Yeah. So that actually does mean that it still hits, which means he's still taking the twelve with twelve AP from that. Alright, 12 AP. That reduces him Wait. to 5 total armor. If you want to stand there, Virgil, you're kind of in the, like, suppressing fire zone. Oh, shit. Whatever. Like, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, we're, we're, not, we're not getting too rules heavy right here. Okay. Alright, so he takes 8 damage. Hmm. That is actually physical damage at that point, so... And he's on fire and possibly knocked on his ass. Mm-hmm. Um, damage value higher than physical limit. Um, yeah, yeah. All right, he's on his ass. And uh, it took six fucking physical. Mm-hmm. So you actually took uh, slightly less damage than he did. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is this. We, we, we can spread the damage around a bit, Paul. Okay, Doc Holiday. I am now at minus three. Okay. Total. Um, I can't see Bogdan anymore, can I? Yeah, no, he's actually behind the couch, and he's. Well, you can see the fire coming off of him. Yeah, but that's not good enough for spells. Can I see Leech? No, he is also unconscious behind the couch. Um. Oh, poop. Most of my shit relies on uh, line of sight. I don't have stuff I can just toss out. Um. Okay, so five. I'm gonna actually. Yeah, I'll actually run. So, one. So can I see him now? Yes. Okay. Used up most of my run, but that's fine. Um, I will then cast... Um... Ah, sorry. Uh, I will then cast Stun Bolt again. All right. I think that's at minus two because I ran. I think you yeah, get sure, minus... Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, we'll go with that. So I'm going to spend a point of edge on this because why the fuck not? Mm -hmm. And uh, since this only works on that, uh, this will be 4-7. No need to make it any worse. 
Well, yep. take six stun. All right. Um, because he was just knocked out, uh, and he's like really low on physical de health as well. Oddly enough, the moment that you hit him with this, his arms, gun, and skull, like uh, skull implant, all explode violently. Oh Jesus! Of yep. course. Oh. Cranial bump. Uh, not, uh, not enough to um cause like. Yeah, no, it, it's like a six meter range on this, so you, nothing's going to hurt to anyone. But like, they core out his torso, his skull. You know, like he loses his head, and his gun and like all of the ammo in it also like combust and explode, and they fire off in like various directions. And well, Ogden is very much no more, given that he is only half the person he used to be. <laughs> oh. Probably a bit less. A little oh. bit less than half, yeah. Well, Bogdan's everywhere. He's just a and Leech is unconscious, so... Encounter over. Hooray, Good you... work, everyone. You, you, you beat the tiny baby version of it that cut out half the combatants and also made them extremely um, obvious and easy to harm. And to that end... Yeah, whatever you gotta do, man. Well, we also had, like, half the Someone's there. at the door. Shit, it's the... <laughs> it's the police. Run. Oh, God. Hey, guess who? G guess who these people represent? I'm guessing Dracula's wives? Uh, yeah, Rides? but hold on. Um, they they walk in and actually Yagenka is clapping. Good work, good work. We didn't have to do the thing. Excellent. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, this is the oh god, this is the other faction that's trying for this. So you uh you've dealt with our problem. And I believe you can leave. If you need any uh, information, we can give it to you now. Who are you? Ah, well, we, we we've seen each other a fair number of times, but that uh, to that explain our important. Yeah, to Does explain it... our uh, position. Yeah, I need to bring up a thing. Okay. Say, say, no, that doesn't answer. Who are you? <laughs> we are uh, employees of Lothian via PLC, a, which is, if anyone knows anything about business at all, it's uh, Zeta Crops like a banking, um, banking oh, company. Jesus. Yeah. Which is uh, mm, Leech's original home, as far as uh, his work goes and leech leech has far too much money and no one to give it to the point is the money is in our crops and we're here uh, and we're here to make sure that that happens that's all i hear that you've been paid by him correct that's all right. yeah. you don't have to you don't have to give any of that back well, you know, uh, I significantly do have a little, very much lower bank account starting this than, or beginning this than I started this. Mm -hmm. So, or ending so, this than I started. Uh, they knew. go and they they go and pick a leech up to um and put him on Elzbieta's shoulders. So, Sader Krupp, he knew this was is he knew what leech was planning on doing. Plan? No, they just want. They're looting his. They're looting his accounts. Uh, oh, uh, mm, he probably was planning something nasty. He always is, but no, don't worry about that. It was pure. Uh, it's purely business. So now that Leech is out of the way, you are liquidating his assets for said crop. Yes. That is, in fact, exactly what we were doing. Um, we're doing. We were waiting for a better position to do this ourselves, but you got here first, so. 
Can we at least get some of those liquid assets for our own back accounts? Absolutely uh, not. We do not ah. want to touch anything that Seder Krupp is saying that it's theirs. Yeah, we, we're best walking away, not asking any <laughs> question, any questions. <laughs> See, we do not deal with dragons. <laughs> repeat that mantra uh, as we walk away. Uh, Fingers in your ears, repeat that mantra and walk I'm away. Ho I'm hovering That's over... You I'm lost a car, unfortunately you have to deal with it. Car, two drones, I'm just hovering over the suppressing so, fire button, just to get just, just at an angry spite. Virgil's just gonna ask... How alive do you need him? Um, none at all. But we'd rather you, uh, we would deal with it ourselves. We're much better at, um, make it more... Believable? Uh, accidental than you are. There is... Let's see, um... I was, I was actually just thinking, like, a player character. We... If absolutely nothing else, we don't want Seder Krupp to get their hands on this shit, either. It, hence the, um, hence, you know, hovering over the, uh, suppressing fire button again. Well, we don't want to outright oppose them, we just need to delete his records of any of this crap. Like, they already have mentioned at this point that they're not really aware or care about his whatever yeah. plan that Leaf was doing. Basically, so. they're just gonna sell, sell off all his assets. Alright, so, okay. This isn't yeah, it. So okay. if, if you, GM, are saying that there's nothing to worry about, then we're just gonna leave it at that. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Alright. What, hap what happened to the amulet? Oh, uh, since Leaf was knocked out, um, it's pretty much just inert right now. It's also is tied it to leech. on him? Like, is he wearing it? Probably. What would be a cold shot to put a bullet through it? Uh, but that because Mine's that would put far. a bullet, and that would put a bullet probably through him, since I doubt the amulet is. Well, they're probably going to be destroying the amulet anyway. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it if I were you. Yeah. Oh no, th this is. By the way, this the tomb this that I'm playing right game. now is the uh, the platoon that I'm playing right now, which is the one I accidentally played at the start. Is the alternate final boss fight against these three? Yeah. Yeah. Um... That's if we took the money. <laughs> yep. Uh, because Seder Cruff would not be happy about essentially having to do the work themselves, and also that we're going off with a fair amount of what they're calling their money. Mm hmm. Specifically, um, the art in question, I, I didn't mention this, but the art in question, uh, Lof Weir considers part of his personal hoard, so. Yeah, so taking the money would just be, at, pretty much it would be a death warrant in oh, long term shit. for the characters. The art is Lof Weir's hoard. Um, I mm -hmm. sort of shot a rocket in here. Don't worry um, about it. You it realize was, that it, all of the doors and all of the glass is, like, bulletproof and, like, has a blade of armor. Nothing got hurt. Also, Reactive armor. Wasn't, Reactive, also, sorry. It also technically wasn't his until right now, so... Mm -hmm. So, anyway. They, they, anyway. They're going to go ahead and deal with Leech. You can leave. It's all set. Cool. I'm out. The, the, uh, the plans about, uh, the, like, the the plane tickets back and whatnot, that's what all was planned ahead of time, so... I was about to ask that. So, <laughs> we can't get home. So you can, you well, can get back. I technically can't go back, because I can't pay for my vehicles to leave. Yes, you can. I'm broke. Don't I'm, worry about it. Yeah. That's a dude. Utterly broke. He's saying we're out of here. The game right, out of here. This, this module is over. Mm-hmm. And you'll get a large amount of karma for these characters you're probably never playing again. Yeah, Yay. pretty much. <laughs> It'd be like yeah. around 12. Because the killing Leech, or rather like subduing Leech or any of that kind of thing, is the good feelings kind of run, as opposed to the cold-hearted bastard, which would give you a shitload of money, but also you'd have to fight the much harder uh, those three. Unless all three drones use suppressing fire, it would have been that bad. Mm -hmm. We also have no idea what they are. 
I'm guessing at least one of them is a street Sam. One of them might be a mage of some kind. One of them might be an adept. One um, might just of, be a biotech queen. Not, they're all three of them are adepts. All three of them are adepts. All right. Yep. Yagenka is the stealth adept. Um, Elgbiata is the gun adept, and uh, Kazmiera is the uh, unarmed combat adept. How would you build a gun at? Because really the thing I've seen is like, you know, there's only a few things. She that you can... only has three magic. So she only has like a couple power points and they're spent entirely on Berserker Rage, Berserker Fury. Ah, so essentially increase stats all the way up and then use those stats to make everything die. Yep. And all she right. has a Yamaha Raiden. Which is oh, that's a lot good. Of dark, yeah. yeah, that's an extremely uh, good assault rifle. Yes, it is. Right. I just want to kill her just to get the assault rifle. It's not... You can buy it, it's just forbidden. Uh, mm -hmm. It's also it's like kind of expensive. It's like She's what? also got, like, a... Sh she actually has a rather large amount of um, bioware, uh, cyberware as well, which is kind of surprising. That would be how that does. Because we had a, um, like does water punches and is really good at unarmed combat and Yagenka can um, jump off of a wall that she was sta uh, like standing on 100% land on your shoulders and you not being aware that she's on your shoulders because she weighs literally nothing and then stab you in the th a neck so well, Ezio in other words Ezio you would know is on your shoulders he, That's true, because you well, will be on Remember, your Ezio pushes you to the ground as he shoves the blade into your Yeah, neck. no, she just lands on your shoulders, and it's like, oh man, it feels like um, a moth is on me. Yaganka's really good at assassin, like being an assassin, which is her job. All three of them are assassins, by the way. Alright. Alright, there you go. Dracula idea is done. Um... I actually cut out a couple characters. Yeah, I mentioned this before to the to these assholes. Uh, I had R. M. Heimfeld, who was the um, equivalent of Renfield. He was a homeless. He would be a homeless man who would give you like the first hint that Leech is a, a motherfucker because he was a um, not coworker but like a direct uh, opposite, like a posing guy in Providence Corp. To, while he, uh, Leech was part of Lothia via. P, uh, like PLC or whatever it's called. He's first and foremost the the like the major character I cut out. Quincy was going to be more po uh, more prominent, but I kind of just didn't want to do that, and also I sped everything up a little bit. Even though this game took like six sessions, I also sped things up a lot. This game is maybe a bit too big. Well, it's a pretty big module. Yeah. I mean, the thing mm -hmm. is that this would require a, a normal GM with a normal group that ran for like three or four hours at a time, a month or two solid of meeting every single week in order to get yep. through it. It's a pretty also, beefy module, which is nice. Also, extreme resource uh, crunch. Yeah, well, I mean, remember, this is... We were starting characters. Yeah, remember, this is assuming that we... That they're not just starting. No, or actually, that they are I'm just starting this as that they are just starting. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is assuming that they don't just stop after mm. this. Yeah. Um, I I would lower the the amount of money that he would offer you at the end. It would probably be more like fifty thousand each, because um, then no one would take the deal. I mean, I'm sure some people would like. There are people who play these games and would totally be fine with uh, committing genocide. Or at least being an accomplice to genocide. I'm I don't like those people either, but people do. 200,000 yeah. would buy me a truck again. That's all I had to say. Yeah, I'm... It's a, I mean, my big problem for... This is just me trying to run, is that, like, you know, I, I need to get into that whole entire mindset of I have to be a jerk sometimes. I don't want to be the goody two-shoes well, all the time. But God, it's really hard. What did... Put it like this, Doc, that you have to meet your bottom line because you are you have a lifestyle to upkeep, plus you need to have enough free time to uh, to increase your stats, not like just hit that, to hit that wall, I mean. 
I have a fun. Let's go off. I have a fun other character who. Um... Should we wrap up the recording? Yeah. 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 Let's yeah. do that. Bye, everybody. That this was is Dracula Actia. Yeah. Yep, it is a, a module that I'm working on, and if I can convince Catalyst Game Labs to let me do it, I will try to publish it in the end. Um, yeah. Look forward on Drive Through RPG in about six months. <laughs> if if they allow me, it's not not guaranteed. All right. So see you later. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>